In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, dear and beloved parishioners of our Holy Trinity Church, on behalf of the rector of our church, Father Vladimir, and on behalf of the parish council, please allow me to congratulate you with the feast of the meeting of the Lord. This feast is very significant because on this feast, the church celebrates the event when the mother of God brought the infant Christ to the church of the Old Testament, to the temple in Jerusalem. And in this temple, he was met by the prophetess Anna and also by Saint Simeon, the receiver of God. This Simeon was a very significant and most interesting person. He was around 300 years old at the time he met the mother of God, Joseph, Saint Joseph, and the infant Christ. And the reason he was this old was because 250 years before the birth of Christ, he was one of the 72 translators of the Old Testament from Hebrew into Greek for the uh, Ptolemies, for the rulers, the Greek rulers of Egypt. And as the translator, as the translator, he was, his lot was to translate the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the book of the prophet Isaiah, he was working on the prophecy, behold, the Lord has given us a sign, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. When St. Simeon was translating this, he thought somehow that the scribes made a mistake and it should say woman, young woman. When he decided to make this change, Archangel Gabriel appeared to him and told him that in fact there is no mistake and Christ will be born of the Virgin and that Saint Simeon will live to see this infant. That is why when he saw the infant Christ in the temple, he was brought to the temple by the Holy Spirit. He raised him up in his arms and said the famous prayers, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, O master, according to thy word. And so he called Christ a light of revelation for the Gentiles and the glory of his people Israel. Because Christ is the light, the church in keeping with tradition on each feast of the meeting of the Lord, each year blesses candles. And so we will also have blessed candles at the church, which you will be able to come and obtain when the church is open and you have access. You know that we try to abide by all the laws and outside of the services, we keep the church open as much as possible so you can come and pray. Also, this feast underscores the significance of the temple for the Hebrew people and of the church for the Christian people because every child on the 40th day was brought into the temple to be dedicated to God, not in any other place, but in the temple. For us as Orthodox Christians, the church has the same significance. We bring our children here to be baptized. People are married here. People are sent on their last journey they're prepared for burial here, we pray for them, we do the funeral services here, and as such, living abroad, the church abroad has decreed many, many, many years ago that each parish is a legal entity, and as such, each parishioner who is the member of the parish is the owner of the church and the protector of the church. We are very grateful to you for all your sacrifices, financial, for your prayers, for your support for our parish. And we also ask that you would consider being the members of our parish legally as well. It's quite simple. The requirement is that a parishioner must receive Holy Communion, confess and receive Holy Communion at least once a year. And also one has to fill a certain form, submit it to the parish council and pay the uh, parish fees for the year. And our fees, of course, they're very symbolic. They're very low. Most of you donate, donate way more than these fees during the course of the year. So we ask you humbly that you extend your care for our church and for our parish, not only through prayers, not only through your financial support, but that also you would consider becoming full-fledged members of our parish, for which we would be most grateful. Thank you and God bless you.